chapter 4 linear equation and two variables part 3 in part 2 you studied solution of uh, linear equations so using solution of uh, linear equation we are going to see graph of a linear equation in two variables okay so graph of a linear equation is a straight line so graph of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line okay so for that you have to find out the solution so minimum three solution you have to find out to draw a straight line here okay. actually two what point is enough to draw straight line but uh, still you have to find out the minimum three solution then only what in the graph when you plot you will get straight line clear okay. it has infinitely many solutions you see uh, linear equation two variable okay has uh, infinitely many solutions we have seen in the part 2 also. So every point on the graph of a linear equation in two variables is a solution of the linear equation. Okay, you draw a straight line. Draw a straight line. Means each and every point will have so many points here. Each and every point is a solution of the linear equation in a two variable. Moreover, Every solution of the linear equation is a point on the graph of the linear equation. Okay, every solution, every solution you plot the points means this is one solution. Here, this is another solution. This is another. Then you join means correctly will get a straight line. Whatever point here you are plotting, that point should be satisfied. If the point is not satisfied, means the point then out of the straight line that is not on the straight line clear so the point should be satisfied solution means what it should be satisfied clear then you plot means you will get straight line okay you see exercise 4.3 first problem draw the graph of each of the following linear equation two variable the first one x plus y equal to 4 so x plus y equal to 4 uh, we can find out the solution very easily when the coefficient is 1 either uh, x or y coefficient is 1 then you keep it that one clear as it is then bring this side y equal to 4 minus x you bring this x this side means minus x right now you uh, put the tabular count See, easily we can find out the four solution nothing three solution enough okay three solution is enough i am finding one more solution also you see first one x is zero x is zero means what will be four y see y is actually depend upon x when you change x value automatically y value will be changed now you are giving uh, x for zero so y you will get what uh, 4 y you will get 0 when x is 0 means this term fully eliminated so y equal to 4 you will get when x is 1 you give y is 4 minus 1 3 okay so you can easily calculate when x is 2 you give 4 minus 2 then x is 3 you give 4 minus uh, 3 1 so you have four solutions easily we can find out now what you have to do is you have to plot on plotting these points then you will if you join which you will get a straight line that is the graph of this equation here zero comma four x is zero x is zero means you take in x axis x axis is uh, zero here then y is four in x is zero y is four means this is the point okay so you should uh, remember any point on the y axis is x is 0. Any point on the x axis is that y is 0. Y is 0. Already I told in the previous chapter, coordinate geometry chapter also. Clear? So you have to remember all this. In mathematics, the what all concepts you have to you have to remember. Then 1, 3, x is 1. In x axis 1 you take. Okay. Then uh, y axis 3. Here. So, 1, 3, in graph correctly what it is intersecting point you have to take. Okay, draw perpendicular means correctly you should 
V at uh, 1 and V here. Like this you have to plot. Then 2 comma 2. X is 2, Y is 2. X is 2, Y is 2. Here. Then 3 comma 1. X is 3. X is 3, Y is 1. So here. Now all the all these uh, four points you join means correctly will get a straight line. Correctly will get a straight. Take the scale and then join all the four points. You plot the point and it correctly we get a straight line. Okay, it also passes through what, uh, 4 comma 0. 4 comma 0. Okay, you uh, uh, join these four points, extend it, it's, uh, extend it. Okay, and then you put uh, this arrow mark and write, write the indication that is x plus y equal to 4. Okay, here is scale we have, okay, that is not compulsory. If you want to write a scale, uh, uh, x axis 1 centimeter is 1 millimeter. Here, here uh, y axis is also 1 millimeter, 1 centimeter. Here, so this is a graph of x plus y equal to 4. So, this is very, very important. Questions. Uh, they may ask in 3 marks or uh, 4 marks. So very important. Here, so now to find out the solution. Then plot the points, then you join all the points, means you will get graph of this equation. Here also x coefficient 1, y coefficient 1 is there. But uh, better uh, you take positive 1 uh, left hand side, positive 1 left hand side. So this can be written as x is equal to 2 plus y. Now you uh, prepare the uh, table of column, then find out uh, 3 solution enough. Minimum three solution, maximum you can find out here. Yeah. Many solutions you can find out, but uh, three solution is very important. So now y equal to zero, you put y equal to zero. I am putting y zero because here x is depend on y here. That's why what the y value you change is automatically x will be changing. So y is zero means that this fully will be eliminated. So x is two. Now y is 1 you put means 3. Now y is uh, 2 you put means 4. Okay. See we got the solutions. Here yeah, we got the solutions. Now 2 comma 0. We have to plot 2 comma 0. 2 comma 0 where here to x is 2. Okay. Y is 0 means this is the point. Okay. Then 3 comma 1. X is 3. Y is 1. Here. Next, x is 4, y is 2, x is 4, y is 2, here. So you uh, plot the points, after that you join all the points, by scale you take and the scale you take and do what, keep uh, straight, okay? you straight all the points, then you draw, you extend, like this extend and put the arrow mark, here. Then you will get a graph of this equation. Graph of this equation. So we can also write so the equation that is x minus y equal to 2. That is graph of this equation. We can write. So very simple. Clear? So but uh, very important this uh, uh, and, uh, graph is very important for examination part of it. Clear? y equal to 3 y equal to 3x. So how the graph of this uh, linear equation variable? Just to think already I told you all. How the graph of this uh, linear equation? So the graph of the equation is a straight line which is passing through origin. Why it is passing through origin? Here there is no constant term. Passes through origin.
You see, now we will sit in the table. Already you have y equal to. So y is uh, depend upon x value. Now, you have to put uh, this right hand side whatever variable. For, for that, you have to put the value. Means automatically you will get y. x is 0. What will be y? b into 0, 0. y also 0. x is 1. So what is y? 3 into 1, 3. x is 2. x is 2 means uh, 3 into 2, 6. Clear? So easily we can uh, find out the solutions. Now just to plot, uh, one point is or 0, 0. The first point, 0, 0. Then second, 1, 3. x is 1, y is 3. Then 2 comma 6, x is 2, x is 2 here, y is 6 here. Now you joined. See now you join all the points, three points. This point, see passing through origin. This point, this point, and then this point you join means correctly we will get the straight line and this will pass, it will pass, it will be passing through origin. Clear? That's all. This is the graph of this equation. So the equation is y is equal to dx. So better you do it in the graph sheet. Doing in the graphs, you going uh, doing the class work. You write the problem. This part you do. Then this one you do in the graphs. You can do paste it here. Okay, below this you paste it. Okay, it will be what very easy to prepare in future also. Okay, draw the graph and do paste it. And how graphs it now? Then you draw. Then you cut it. Then paste it. That is easy way. You no need to do in the separate uh, notebook. Clear? You draw and paste it. That is easy way. Clear? See the next problem. See for uh, our convenience, clear? You just uh, rewrite that is uh, 2x plus uh, y equal to 3. Just what you uh, change the sides uh, like this. This will be this one uh, left hand side, right hand side. This uh, 2x plus y. You write it, uh, keep it uh, left hand side, 3 right hand side. Okay, both are same. Now, see the coefficient, y is, uh, y coefficient is 1. So, keep in the left hand side, then bring this 2x this side. Then easily you can find out the solution. Now, you see, y is dependent on x. So, x value will give 0. x value I am giving 0 means this whole will be eliminated. Then uh, y will be 3. Now, x is 1 you give. 3 minus 2 into 1, 2. 3 minus 2, 1. Now, x is 2 you give. 2 into 2, 4. 3 minus 4, minus 1. Correctly, you have to simplify. Okay, 2 give means this will become 4. So, minus 4 here. So, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Correctly, you have to simplify. Now you plot in the graph that is 0, 3, x is 0, y is 3. Here it is. 1, comma 1, x is 1, y is 1. Here. 2 minus 1, x is 2, x is 2, y is minus 1. Here. Exact here. Now you join, you will get a strike. Then you join all the points. Extend the line on this. So, this equation is 2x plus y equal to 3. So, here uh, after plotting uh, the points, you just what uh, take a scale and join and draw clear line, straight. Uh, you get a straight line. So, this is the 
graph of this equation. So you see one uh, extra problem. Okay, two y plus seven equal to five x minus five. So I am just rewriting or this uh, x term always keep uh, left hand side so that it will be easy. Okay, this one left hand side, this one right hand side will be. Okay, now this two y bring this side means five x uh, minus two y. This minus five bring that side means seven plus five. Clear? So five x minus two y equal to twelve. Okay. Now we have to find out the solution. I am going to find out uh, three solution. Very easily we can find out. Okay. Now what I am going to do is. Uh, uh, this uh, x coefficient is 5. You see both the uh, coefficients are uh, uh, some number there, not 1. Clear? That's why uh, I am going to what, uh, apply that uh, hmm? easy method. That is uh, x coefficient 5 is there. That below y you are writing, minus 5 you write. y coefficient above x you write, as it is you write, coefficient as it is. Bring this sign mean change the sign. Change the sign. Clear? Minus means plus, it will be plus. Now, here is a x value you put 0. Okay, middle uh, one solution you have to find out. Clear? One solution enough. You can find out infinitely many solutions. Clear? I am putting a x value is 0. Okay, what is happening here? You see, y is minus 2y equal to 12. Therefore, y is minus 2 divided means minus 6. Minus 6. Understand? It will be minus 6. Now you just add minus 2. It will be here minus 11. Minus 5 minus 6 is minus 11. Here uh, add 2. 2. Here uh, minus 6 uh, plus 5 is minus 1. Okay. Here you see you have more number. So that you find out one more uh, what uh, solution also here in the graph uh, what uh, you cannot uh, uh, we how to write up to 11 okay in the graph uh, not possible so you find out one more solution here 4 okay so then it will be 5 minus 4 4 4 comma 4 so like this you can find out the solution you uh, take these three solutions take this three solution and then draw the graph okay you uh, avoid this one but uh, still you find out no problem for drawing the what graph, you take these three solution and plot and do it. Clear? So it is a very easy method. Clear? Easily we can find out. One solution enough. You can find out uh, so many solutions. Okay? You take the uh, easiest one you take and uh, plot it. Now 0 minus 6 is 0. 0 here, minus 6 here. Minus 6 here. This is the point. 0 minus 6. Then 2 minus 1. 2 is uh, x axis 2 minus 1 here. Okay. Now 4, 4. x is 4, y is 4. So all these three points in the water join. And in, so like this you uh, plot the points. Plot the points. Then you join. Join means uh, correctly we get a straight line. Straight line of this equation that is uh, 5x minus 2y equal to 12. Okay, so when you have coefficients, uh, okay, other than 1, means uh, both of uh, what uh, variable coefficients, uh, okay, other than 1 means apply this method, it is very easy. Sometimes they may ask like this problem also. So you see, second question. Give the equations of two lines passing through 2, 14. Then how many more such lines are there and why? Here, here you see, already you studied the uh, here. Equation of uh, two lines passing through this point. Passing through, see, one point, one given point. Okay, how many lines will pass through? Infinitely many lines. Here, one point. Mark this one point, two comma fourteen. Great. From through this point, you can draw so many lines. You can draw or not? So each and every line having 
fucation which are the every line having the fucations like this you can draw so many lines so 2 comma 14 you have to write the ucation clear how will you write see one uh, x plus y you take x plus y you take so the point should satisfy clear this ucation that means x is 2 y is 14 means how much add 2 plus 14 how much 16 you can write this is one ucation clear is correctly satisfied and they ask for two equations. So one more equation you write. Uh, how will you write one more equation? 2x. 2x plus y equal to how much? 2 substitute. 4. 4 plus 14, 18. So like this, so many equations you can write. Here are two equations. Or two equations passing through 2 comma 14 so next to how many more such lines are there so infinitely many lines so infinitely many lines are there because infinitely many lines passing through a given point you see this point the given point is you can uh, Draw so many lines. Okay, you can draw so many lines. You see next question, third question. If the point 3, 4 lies on the graph of the equation 3y equal to ax plus 7, then find the value of a. That means any point lies on this equation means it should be satisfied. That means x is 3, y is 4. Clear? So solution given equation given 3y equal to ax plus 7 okay so 3 comma 4 lies on this equation lies on the given equation okay lies on the given equation therefore x is equal to 3 this is this will be x this will be y Okay, you have to replace it. That means uh, 3 into 4 is equal to a into 3 plus 7. So what will happen here? 12 equal to 3a plus 7. Now this 7 you bring this side. 12 minus 7 equal to 3a. That is uh, 5 equal to 3a. Or for our convenient right 3a equal to 5 we have to find out a value therefore a is equal to 3 you divide this side means 5 by 3 therefore value of a is 5 by 3 so a value is 5 by 3 so like this uh, what i will give uh, some more questions here for homework do the homework for better practice okay